Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix PayPal stack on loading screen Valorant. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So it might be annoying when you have your PayPal uh, screen actually stuck on the Valorant app or in the following game here whenever you're uh, planning on buying something. So it's kind of annoying. So there's a few things that you should be checking here first. So one of those things is you have to ensure that you have a stable internet connection. Now, not having a stable internet connection or if your internet connection is pretty slow, sometimes some assets on the application itself or in PayPal might load pretty, pretty slow. So that's why it's getting stuck. So in this case, ensure that you have a proper or stable internet connection. So you might need to consider switching to a different connection if needed or if you can. So for example, if you have a different source, like for example, if you have a, a mobile Wi-Fi that you could share or try using, you could go ahead and do that as well. But in this case, if your internet connection is actually pretty stable and you use a uh, speed test and it's actually free pass, then there's a few things that you need to check here in Valorant itself. So one of those is you need to ensure that you restart your Valorant first whenever you get this specific issue. Now in this case, uh, closing your, the Valorant app itself or the Valorant game itself might not simply work itself. So I would suggest you to try accessing your uh, task manager. So go ahead and press on Control shift escape and from here you need to look for Valorant so if you see Valorant here in the section here you can go ahead and just click on it just click on the end task at the bottom right now same thing once you've done that I would also suggest you to try looking for Riot client here same thing click on it and just click on end task here to end the task for that specific uh, application now also if you don't see the same window that I have right now you could go ahead and click on the more details option here and you should see the same window I'm currently looking at now, once you've done that, go ahead and open up the Valorant or the uh, browser or the client here, game client for Valorant, and from then see if that solves the issue. Now, if that does solve the, solves the issue, well, the next thing that we could do here is probably changing a few settings here for our game client. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to go to our account here, go to settings. From here, look for Valorant. And under Valorant, what you need to do is just click on the repair option here. And from here, it's going to start repairing your game. So if you see any errors on it, or if your game is not up to date, it's going to update itself and repair the game as needed. But once you've done that, see if that solves your issue. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.